welcome, it's great to see you. Today I am working with some bits that I got recently from Cheryl Simone Crafts. So I'm working with the Wicker Lane collection from Photoplay. And I've also got this gorgeous SVG from Adriana. So Adriana Alvarez, I think it's Adriana's Palace on Etsy. I'll link her down below. So she's easy for you to find. And this is like a 3D mailbox type memory deck and it's beautiful. So I've put that together already using papers from the Wicker Lane collection. And I thought I would come on here and decorate it with you. So I have gone very Adriana for this. I am trying to practice my layering, trying to get used to covering things up and not being worried that you can't see them, <laughs> can't see them in their entirety. I'm not very good at that. I don't know if you guys are. So one of the things that she does is she builds quite a lot of bulky layers or um I'm trying to think of the right word for it she sort of creates a lot of depth so I've gone for one of these crinkly accordion folded pieces so this is the kind of thing you would make to make a rosette but instead of doing that I have stitched either side with the gold thread I got this thread from Lidl and it works like a dream in my sewing machine. I'm gutted that I only got one packet of it. So I think I'm going to have to try and find more of that. But I've stitched that along either edge. And then I have chosen this sticker from the sticker sheet. I take the centerpiece out because I don't think I need it. And it's it's me again trying to um, limit the amount of things that are covered up. <laughs> but I decide in the end to add it back. So this, this step was completely pointless. I am taking the extra little threads off of that accordion folded piece. I've stuck down the frame. So I stitched the frame on the backing so that my sewing machine needle wouldn't get all gummed up and then realized that obviously I've stitched it to the backing. So not the world's best idea, not the brightest spark in that moment. So I basically just cut around the frame so that I could stick the backing piece onto the memory decks, that was my workaround for that. And now I'm gluing the edges of this accordion piece. I like to glue either end and try and leave the center till the last so that I can space out the folds. That's a little tip, hopefully that helps someone. And then I'm literally just looking through everything. Everything is an option at this point. And I wanna just work out how I'm going to layer it. I end up using this floral piece and I add a bunch of sequins onto this. So I've seen Adriana, I've seen Shara do fabulous things with sequins. Um, Claire, who is a curious trinket, she layers them, makes like little clusters and they're gorgeous. So I thought, because I'm going all out on this and making it very extra, I would add sequin centers to all of my flowers. But before I do that, I've added back in that centerpiece for the frame because I've worked out that I can't cover it well enough that you won't see the backing, <laughs> which is very irritating, but it was easy enough to add it back in, so that was handy. And then I'm adding some foam on the back of this floral piece to make it stand forward. I end up needing double the amount of foam. And then adding the sequins that I was chatting about earlier. This is a pot that I've got on my desk, I think... It's a huge mix of things. So Claire sent me some mail with some sequins. It was a Schitt's Creek swap. I don't know if you guys watched that. I loved it. I loved that series. And I kept all of those bits, put them in a little pot. And then as I have made sequin mixes and stuff, I've just sort of added like colors. So if I've used ones, there's a few left on my desk. I add them into that pot. So I've gone through there, grabbed out some that I think match and just sort of layered them in the center of the flowers. And I think it really adds a cute detail, just something a little bit extra I wouldn't usually bother doing. And that's what I'm trying to create here. So when I was making this, I was really trying to go the extra mile on each little thing, because that's what I love when I look at projects. When I look at projects and I can see that someone has taken the time to add those little things, I think it makes all the difference. And as you guys know, I can be a bit of a lazy crafter and I don't always add those little extra elements. So for this, I'm really trying to. 
I end up pulling this floral off because I want to use this vellum rosette from CRG Art. I will link them down below. So that's the lovely Cheryl. Her shop has some beautiful things. I end up using quite a few on this. So those are my favourite rosettes she makes. I pulled up the floral so I could angle it up a bit more. Again, so that you could see it. Still not the best <laughs> at covering things up, but this works out really cute. So I'm glad I moved that one. And I have added some of those little, are they called stamens? The little bits that you would have seen me tuck behind a few seconds ago. I've got the other piece of this accordion folded paper. So it's the, the pink bit earlier I cut a slice off. You might have seen me do that. And the paper that you can see facing you now is what's on the other side of the pink one. So that is the little extra bit that I cut off. I'm trying to find a way to use that in my project rather than throw it in the bin. Does anybody else keep tiny scraps like that? Is it just me? <laughs> I think about using the word joy, decide against it. I want to use this camera and the joy just covers it up far too much. So I go with the camera in the end. Still looking for a way to add another layer. I love this enjoy today, but I don't like that it hangs so far over the edges. So instead I add this little piece, this little accordion body piece. Do I stitch it? No, I don't. I choose a sentiment from the sticker sheet, which I back onto some card. This just gives it a bit more stability to go through the sewing machine, because otherwise I find that stickers sort of crease at the edges and get stuck and it's a whole nightmare. So I'm sticking my little sentiment onto an extra piece of card, stitching around the edge in gold, and then I'm adding that on top of the little accordion piece to the left hand side there. Then I add one of these tiny bows. These are adorable. So Chantal sent me these and I'm not sure if she cut them from a die or on a machine or what, but I need hundreds more of them because I've been using them on every project and this color just works so perfectly on here. These little star buttons I've had in my stash since I was like 15 and they're nearly gone now and I'm gutted because I want millions more of them. I have never used them before, never sort of thought to put them on a project and now they've resurfaced, I've been using them on everything. So again, another little detail that I'm adding here, I'm using this yellow thread and I am just threading it through the holes on the button, tying it on the back and then hot gluing it on. So it's not actually stitched onto the memory dates, but it looks like it is. And I've deliberately chosen a bright colour so that it's obvious that it's got the thread through it. I think I just really liked the way that that looked. So it's not actually serving a purpose purely for aesthetics. Again, this is something that takes just a few extra minutes and I really think it adds a little bit of something. So that's what I'm trying to do, trying to add those little extra bits and bobs that I think will make a difference to the overall product. In total, I think I add four of these buttons. I thought maybe I skipped stitching one, but apparently I'm gonna make you sit through it. <laughs> Apologies for that. Let me know what collection you guys are using at the moment. I'm trying not to buy too much new stuff, but everywhere has such beautiful things for spring and summer. And these are such beautiful summer colors in my eyes. So let me know what you guys are using. Also, if you know any creators that make SVG files, let me know because I love trying out new things, especially SVGs. And I love that this one is from Adriana. So I'm supporting a fellow crafter while I'm making things. I'm using a bunch of rolled flowers here. So these are again from CRG Art. 
I'll make sure to have her linked in the description. And some of them have glitter on, some of them are plain. They're beautiful, they match this perfectly. And I'm just adding them in on all different layers. I have got some paper flowers there as well from the range, I think, but they don't end up making on there. I go with these ones from CRG Art. More little stamens, some little gems, which you don't actually see me add, and then we are done. So I've added a little chain with some beads here, some wire wrapped beads. I'm showing you all of the stitching details, this little shaker on the side here. And then you can see how chunky that front piece is. I absolutely love how this turned out and I'm really excited to make some more in this style. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this. And I'll be back again to craft with you very soon. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Bye.